All right, YouTube, welcome back. I wanted to uh, showcase a new line of handguns we've gotten in here at the shop, and mainly just to discuss a few of the little features of this gun and tell you a little bit about it. We've got a Caracal uh, Model C and a Model F. I guess the C and F are corresponding to compact and full size. They're produced in uh, Dubai in the UAE. Very neat little setup. It's basically a Glock copy at its heart. Striker fired, um, polymer frame, pretty much the typical fare that you're going to expect in that type of handgun. Got real nice uh, sights on them. We're going to look at that a little bit closer here in a moment. Semi-automatic, the compact holds 15 shots and one in the spout. The full size holds 18 shots and one in the spout in the full size. Very neat setup. The uh, breakdown and operation is pretty much exactly like a Glock. Takes apart the same way. The uh, internal components are mm, similar in some ways, but it's definitely a unique design. Even though it shares a lot of the features of the Glock, the uh, recoil guide rod assembly is pretty much the same. The locking style of the barrel is pretty much the same. So they're uh, very nice guns from everything I can tell. I'm going to show you the sight profiles on them because they are available in a couple of uh, slightly different sight profiles. You have that style of sight available to you which is pretty much, I guess, like a Steyr style sight. And then they have a rack, rapid acquisition style. Then they have this sight style that's designed to be a rapid acquisition. It points uh, very naturally. Just a really slick little setup, but you can see how the base is actually on the front of the slide. You do have a shorter sight radius on that gun, but uh, they acquire just really quick. This is a great little gun, and uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. It's got a very, very crisp trigger on it. The trigger on this thing just feels wonderful. Um, pretty much about what you'd expect in about a four and a half, five pound Glock trigger, which of course is definitely lighter than a factory Glock trigger. The uh, size of the frame is definitely slimmer than a Glock. Um, it's got that, you know, just a great feel in your hand. Reminds me a lot of the Springfield XDs in terms of how they feel. The uh, magazine release is actually ambidextrous. Can be manipulated from either side of the gun, thumb or finger, whichever you choose. Like I said, the breakdown is pretty similar. The weight is pretty similar to a Glock. I mean, considering that the construction's about the same. And uh, I really just can't say enough good things about this gun. Uh, so far, I think the gun has a lot of potential. We will get out and do some range testing of this setup. So we have both the full size and the compact. You can see the differences in the size of the gun. Again, very comparable to the Glock in terms of size. And uh, hopefully we'll get to, you know, get out and show this gun in a little more detail and get to take it out and shoot it some. I'm real excited. I think it's a really sweet gun. It's got a lot of potential. We'll get some close-ups of it. At the current time of this video, they're only available in 9mm, although in Europe they are available in 9x21. Those are your takedown notches on the frame. So, pretty much like the Glock, it locks up the same way, but you just have the tabs on the bottom you pull, as opposed to the way the Glock's set up. In their current configuration, the guns have pretty much the same safeties as a Glock but they do plan on making one available that has a push pin cross bolt safety behind the trigger. Although it's not mentioned in the manual, the barrel is a standard style of rifling. We believe they might be hammer forged, but we haven't been able to get any details on that yet. 
So that should be a good cast bullet launcher, that's the reason I mention it. One minor drawback that we found from the design of the magazines is that just that small hole that you see right there that Ray's pointing at, that metal to metal contact is all that holds the magazine in place. It's not actually in the hole, it's actually the, the stock rests against the, t the edge of that small bent lip. So it's just, that's the surface area right here. It is metal on metal. But not by much. Not much. And I'm sure some drop testing would confirm or deny, you know, how much of a liability that'll be.